Welcome back. Our next guests have such a following that they are known simply by their first name. This Canadian group has had an amazing career that spans over 40 years and has inspired generations of children through their music and books. In addition to their gold and platinum albums, they are Order of Canada recipients. They are, of course, activists and philanthropists and national treasures. Now here to celebrate the release of their first album in over 21 years, Sharon Lois and Bram, Best of the Best Live. Please welcome to The Social, Sharon Hampson and Bram Morrison. Hello! Hello, Hello. indeed. Thank you for that lovely introduction. Thank you. Thank you for all that you've done. So many families across Canada are going to be so excited to hear this new music. This album features live never before never before heard performances and you know what tell us what fans can expect from the album and why right now is the perfect time to release new live music well it's the perfect time because the album is a concert and it's an opportunity for fans at home to attend a Sharon Lois and Bram concert and this concert includes music with Lois and it is a concert put together from 20 different places it's an incredible editing job you don't know and it's fantastic and it just goes on like gangbusters for an hour it's fantastic actually in all humility it is <laughs> you're both legends but now you're also TikTok stars which is absolutely <laughs> incredible um, you know over the years platforms change but your music and message stays the same and my two-year-old adores you and asks for you by name and loves so many songs. So Sharon, what do you think makes this music so universal for so many people and so many generations? Well, I think partly it's it's accessible. You hear it, you can sing it, you can do it. Um, it's fun. Um, it's not, it's, it's quality music. The fact that the parents like it too is significant for children. In retrospect, Looking back on it, we didn't know this at the time, but it became apparent that in songs like Skin a Marink, once it's in your head, <laughs> it's forever. <laughs> It never goes away. <laughs> right. So you mentioned um, Lois, who passed in 2015. And so on this new album, we're hearing recordings that revisit a time when the three of you were together. What was it like for you to go back and, and you know, experience that um, and that those times that you spent together and carry on her legacy? It's kind of cool to go back to the album where we get to be a trio again and hear and hear what it was like working and singing and playing and having fun together. But it's very interesting knowing that when Lois did retire, we had no thought of replacing her with somebody else. It's mm -hmm. not like we had a three voice choir that needed a third voice when one dropped out. There was no replacing her. And so wow, we said, okay, you. we're going yeah. to continue, but just the two of us, and but we won't yeah. forget what we did before. That's beautiful. And you know what? Let's continue with legacy for a moment because we asked our audience to share with us some special memories of your group and the impact that you've had on them. So I just want to read you some of these comments that we've gotten um, from Vero Barabe on Facebook who says, the soundtrack of my early childhood, which is now becoming the soundtrack of my daughter's childhood. <laughs> and then we have a viewer, Michelle, um, sent us this photo and said, here's a pic of my daughter singing along with Sharon, Lois and Bram. My husband and I grew up watching The Elephant Show and clearly it's timeless as my daughter enjoys watching it and singing along just as much as we did. You know, it is so common for folk music to get passed down through generations. So Bram, I wanna ask you, what does it mean to you to see that parents are sharing your music with their families, their children, and, and this is being passed on? First of all, we decided before we even recorded the first record that it was going to be for the whole family. And we also knew that we wanted it to last over the years. So we didn't put anything 
trendy on it <laughs> so that trendy is great while it's a trend <laughs> the next right. year or the year after that it's uh it's yesterday and we didn't want mm -hmm. that and what we ended up with were favorites that lasted to every generation and we realized what they were they were classics and that gives us the greatest pleasure, knowing that families share them with the next generation. The song that you're most known for, uh, the first memories a lot of people have with you is your iconic song, The Skin and Marinky Dink. So, Bram, can you just tell us a little bit, like, where did this song come from? What does it really mean is what I'd love to know. Okay, and, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell, you. So I'm going to tell you this. First of all, where it came from. When we were raising money for our first record, we went to family and friends and asked for $500 or $1,000, which was a lot of money in those days. And uh, uh, Lois was from Chicago, so she went to Chicago to put the, the, uh, the elbow on her, her family there. <laughs> and she came back with some dough. And she also came back with a song that she had learned from a cousin of hers who had learned it at summer camp. And she sang it for us, and we thought it was a really nice song. So on that first record, One Elephant Do Say Elephant, I didn't sing at all, but Lois sang it with Sharon singing harmony, and I played the, a ukulele part on my guitar. And we decided to end the first concert with it because it seemed like a nice ending song. And that's the way it's been ever since. Forever. Well, speaking of that... Uh, we couldn't, we couldn't here on the social stop that tradition. So no, if it's, if it's okay, and I'm pretty sure it will be, would you sing <laughs> it with us? We would be so honored. Sure. Now it has actions. We invite you to do the actions with us. Okay. And here it goes. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. Put up the sun. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. I love your singing. I love you. Thank you for watching. I love you. I love the social. I love you too. Boop, boop, be do. Blow a kiss. What a wonderful way to end. That was so heartwarming. That was so wonderful. Thank you so much, Sharon and Bram, for coming by, chatting with us. We would love to have you in our studio live at some point. We, could do, we, could we would that. love that. One day. <laughs> yes, one day. <laughs> Sharon, Lois, and Bram, Best of the Best Live is available on November 19th. Check it out. Get it. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.